If at any point during our educational videos you have more questions or would like to schedule a consultation, just click the Schedule Now button to contact our office. Uterine fibroid embolization is one of the minimally invasive treatment options that can be offered for fibroid disease. Uterine fibroid embolization is an outpatient, minimally invasive procedure where a woman comes in an hour before the procedure, the procedure lasts about an hour, and recovers for several hours. After her recovery, she goes home and continues to recover in the comfort of her own home. Uterine fibroid embolization isn't a surgical procedure in that it doesn't require general anesthesia, conscious sedation, and the twilight medications are all that are required for uterine fibroid embolization. The actual procedure of uterine fibroid embolization involves placing a small IV into the artery in a woman's groin. We take x-rays of the uterus and we identify the blood flow into the uterus and into the fibroids. Once that blood flow is identified, we use special medical materials to stop the blood flow into the uterus and into those fibroids. By starving those fibroids of blood, the fibroids shrink and the bleeding quickly decreases. After fibroid embolization, the fibroids will continue to shrink for approximately six months after the procedure. The majority of the shrinkage occurs in the first month or two, and that's when most of the symptoms will improve. Uterine fibroid embolization has excellent results. Over 90% of women have a significant decrease in the amount of bleeding from their fibroids. This decrease is usually seen right away within the first or second menstrual cycle. One of the other results that we see is shrinking of the fibroids after the procedure. On average, fibroids shrink anywhere from 50 to 75 percent and can significantly decrease a woman's pain, pressure, and frequent urination. Because it's an outpatient procedure, uterine fibroid embolization allows a woman to get back to her normal life and her normal activities of daily living quicker than with other procedures. One of the other benefits to uterine fibroid embolization is that it allows us to treat all the fibroids at one time. While myomectomy might be good for one or two fibroids, uterine fibroid embolization allows us to treat all the fibroids at one procedure. Some of the risks of uterine fibroid embolization are infection in the fibroid as it shrinks, or the fibroid shrinking too quickly and falling out of the inner lining of the uterus. Common side effects from uterine fibroid embolization are nausea, vomiting, and cramping after the procedure. We provide prescriptions to women beforehand for nausea and vomiting, as well as for pain and cramping. All these medications will help prevent those symptoms after the procedure. Most women find that these symptoms resolve after about 24 to 48 hours, with most women ready to go back to work by about three or four days. Every woman's a little different, and some women recover within 24 hours, and some may take a little bit longer. But the overall benefit of fibroid embolization is that after those 24 to 48 hours of some nausea and some pain, women are ready to get back to their normal activities of daily living. Okay, so the procedure was um, very quick and painless. I arrived at 7 in the morning and I think I was home between 10.30 and 11 in the morning. So it was very quick. Um, I, I feel like they have this like a, working like a well-oiled machine. It's uh, quick in and out. The procedure itself lasted just a few minutes. Um, and the, side, the only side effect that I can mention is pain. It's def, it, you definitely have pain afterwards. Um, I was down uh, in bed all Friday. I had it on a Friday, um, so I was in bed Friday and Saturday. I started getting up on Sunday a little bit, and I decided to go to work on Monday. In hindsight, I think I would have, I should have stayed an extra day at home, um, but I didn't, and it, I still made it all day, and it was a little bit painful. So in my opinion, a four-day recovery would have been great, four-day recovery at home. My UFE procedure went really well. Everything went according to plan. And the nurse that I was assigned, she explained everything to me before it happened, so there were no surprises for me, <laughs> which was good. And also, my initial side effect was pain. I understand that right after embolization, you have the fibroids start to degenerate and because they've lost their blood supply, they start to shrink and as a result you feel pain. So my pain on a scale of 1 to 10 was about an 8 and that pain lasted for me for about 3 to 4 days and after that I was able to manage my pain with ibuprofen or Motrin over the counter with no problems. 
the surgery itself was painless um, and kind of interesting and fun. I was awake during it, sedated but awake, very painless, pain-free, and um, the state-of-the-art equipment was incredible. I got to see him going and getting that little fibroid and it was really incredible. I want to say that the major pain was done like by the end of the next day. You know, I just stayed on top of the pills, but it was pretty, pretty easy for me. The reasons that made me choose the UFE versus the other options was number one that it was minimally invasive. I, um, I'm sort of a, a natural person. I that the natural choice is always my first choice, and so if I don't have to have an organ removed that is not doesn't have cancer or doesn't have any other problems, I that would be my first choice. So um, minimally invasive, no trauma, no blood loss, no no. Um, possibilities for infection afterwards um, also the recovery period um, based on what dr. Harris said you know I should be fine in between three days to a week and it actually was exactly like that so it's been about eight weeks since I had it and I would say after the second week I felt immediate uh, relief uh, you know I used to feel a little bit of pressure and that my abdomen area that went away within two weeks and um, I am happy to report I had uh, my gynecologist follow up a different gynecologist that is I, I, I have switched doctors since then and um, based on the size that they were before and based on what she she could feel um, she feels that they've decreased by about 50 percent five zero so um, in terms of the, the difference, again, because I didn't have a lot of symptoms, it's not like I had pain. I don't, still don't have pain. I never did. But in terms of the pressure in my abdomen, that's all gone away. Um, one of the fibroids was pushing against my bladder. I can definitely feel the difference now. Um, and it's been, um, after eight weeks, I feel great. Um, it's been about two months since my procedure, and all of my fibroid-related symptoms have either gone away completely or they have improved a great deal. I had um, my surgery the day after Christmas and it was perfect because I had that break to, to get better. But the very next month when my menstrual cycle came, it was just very a very normal bleeding level. So I, I feel like it was perfect. It didn't interrupt with my hormones, obviously. Um, I haven't had any negative side effects it's just did what it was supposed to do so I'm thrilled one of the one of the things that I found out is that a lot of the fibroids go away after menopause I'm 10 years away from menopause if this buys me 10 years I think it's is definitely a good investment and a good decision because I don't have to go through um, hormonal replacement um, I don't have to go through you know the physical uh, uncomfort that comes with having a hysterectomy, even a partial hysterectomy. Um, so to me, those were very compelling reasons, and and again, uh, one of the reasons why I'm, I I agreed to do this video is to just help women make the most educated decision. And again, if if the decision is that you have to have a hysterectomy, then at least you did it uh, knowing all the other options that are available to you. Hello, this is Dr. Todd Harris from the Fibroid Treatment Center. Before we walk you through an actual uterine fibroid embolization procedure, we wanted to show you this 3D animated video so that you can more easily conceptualize and picture exactly what we're doing during a uterine fibroid embolization procedure. Uterine fibroid embolization, or UFE, is a treatment for uterine fibroids. And as you can see here in the image, fibroids are small growths that form within the uterus. These growths can be described in different ways as we've discussed in our About Fibroid seminar. They can form under the inner lining of the uterus called submucosal fibroid or they can be within the wall of the uterus called an intramural fibroid. If they're under the outer lining of the uterus they're called subserosal fibroids and they can be further categorized as pedunculated if they hang off the inner or outer walls of the uterus. 
a uterine fibroid embolization procedure is a way for us to shrink these fibroids by starving them of their blood supply. The procedure is started by placing a small IV into the artery, usually in the right groin. And a sheath is placed into the artery. Through that sheath, that small catheter can be directed into the arteries that feed the uterus. By using x-ray pictures during the procedure, we can steer that catheter directly into the arteries that feed the fibroid. From that location, we can take additional pictures to ensure we're in the correct artery and then deposit small particles or medical beads that are lodged inside the artery. These small medical particles plug the arteries and prevent blood flow into the fibroids. The particles that we use are significantly larger than a red blood cell. When they're injected into the arteries that feed the fibroids, it prevents blood from flowing into those fibroids. The uterine fibroid embolization procedure prevents blood flow into all the fibroids at one time. Thus, all the fibroids within the uterus will shrink and the symptoms will improve. Hopefully, this helped you conceptualize and understand a little bit more about what is done during a uterine fibroid embolization. We encourage you, if you have any further questions, please give our office a call. We're always happy to help. A lot of women ask us, what exactly is entailed with a uterine fibroid embolization? So we wanted to walk you through one. Um, a woman would get checked in here in the preoperative area. She'd have an IV placed. Um, she's wheeled back to a procedure room that's right there adjacent to the preoperative area. Um, once in the room, uh, IV sedation is given, so the patient will be more comfortable. Uh, a woman will have that uh, x-ray machine over her pelvis area so that we can take x-rays um, of the arteries. There'll be some basic equipment on the back table, as you can see there. One of our other video goes into more details uh, about the materials used, and you can watch that. So once the sedation is given, we give local anesthetic there in the groin. We put a small IV or a sheath um, into the artery that's in the groin. We'll feed a catheter and a wire into the artery. And as one of our other videos pointed out, we can actually control that catheter and that wire. We can spin the catheter and spin the wire to get almost 360 degree range of motion on the catheter. So we're gonna put that catheter and that wire uh, into the artery, and as you can see here on the screen, uh, we're gonna advance the catheter and the wire. And we're starting off, we, we go into the right artery, which is actually on the left side of your screen. Um, and we go up and over uh, from the patient's right side to the patient's left side. And so you can see that here. We're gonna advance that wire down into the area kind of where we think the uterine artery and the fibroid arteries are gonna be. We then advance a different uh, shaped catheter up and over from the right to the left side. We're gonna remove that wire. And once the wire is removed, we're gonna take x-rays uh, of the pelvis. So we wanna see exactly where the artery is that is feeding the fibroids on the patient's uh, left side. So we use that little roadmap trick right there where the arteries are changed into that little white, uh, the white lines so that we can help navigate the catheter over the wire there and into the left uterine artery. So once we've got the catheter secured in place there, we're actually gonna take that wire out and we're gonna do an X-ray from the left side. So you can see the catheter it's in position there. We're going to inject uh, some contrast, which is a dye, um, and we'll take x-rays. So as you can see here, there's that large thick artery and it feeds a large fibroid in the uterus there. So as we freeze the picture there, you can almost make out a, a sphere or a ball um, of dark contrast and that's actually the fibroid itself. So if we do it again here, we'll freeze it and you can see the large artery going into the fibroid um, and then all the smaller uh, little arteries that feed the fibroid. And you can see that kind of spherical nature to the fibroid. So we know we're in the correct position at this point. So we're gonna take the uh, catheter, we're gonna inject some little microscopic particles into the fibroid and into the artery to close off the blood flow into the artery. So then once we've flushed the catheter, we'll do another X-ray 
And as you can see there, the dye is no longer going into the uterine artery and the fibroid arteries, and there's no more flow. It's actually going to go backwards up the catheter and then down into the normal arteries in the left side of the pelvis. So we know we did uh, a complete embolization there on the left side. So we're going to readjust the catheter. Um, we're going to now try to find the artery on the right side of the pelvis um, that's feeding the remaining portion of the fibroid. So again, we're using the wire, we're using that catheter, uh, we're going to kind of spin the catheter and the wire around to get in the correct position. So we're going to bring it down into the right pelvis now, and again we're going to take the wire out, we'll do an x-ray just to see kind of where the uterine artery is um, so we can get a little overview. And we saw a little flash of it there. It wasn't real defined yet because uh, we, there were a lot of other arteries, but we're going to advance the wire similar to uh, the way we did on the left side. We'll use that little road map. We'll advance the wire um, into the right uterine artery now, which is feeding the right side of the fibroids, and then we're going to put the catheter over that. So from the right side of the pelvis, again, we're going to take an x-ray. We're going to inject that dye, take the x-ray, and we'll see again, similar to the left side, a large uterine artery with all those smaller little tiny curly arteries that are going into the fibroid and feeding it. So you can almost see the other half of the fibroid compared with what we saw on the left side. So we'll definitely want to embolize this side because we won't want the fibroid to come back, we won't want the bleeding to continue, and only doing the left side would only be half treatment. So once we're in correct position, which we confirm with this x-ray, uh, we're going to take those same little microscopic particles. We're just going to inject them into that area, that uh, into the catheter, and then we're going to flush the catheter out um, and shut down the blood supply from, to the right side of that uh, fibroid. Again, we're going to take another final X-ray here, and as you can see, there's no more flow into that right, uh, the right half of that fibroid. So we know we did a good embolization. Um, another look at that same uh, X-ray here. No more flow into the fibroid. So we've done the left side. Uh, we've done the right side. Uh, once those are completed, uh, we know that we've done a, uh, the complete uterine fibroid embolization here. We're going to remove the catheter, um, so we're going to kind of steer that catheter into a position where we can take it out. Um, and once the catheter is out, we actually use a small little uh, device to seal the artery um, where we had put the IV or that sheath into. And then that's it. A woman will recover for a couple of hours. Um, and then be free to go. So um, we hope that helped a little bit. Um, we certainly encourage you to ask any questions, um, email our office. We're certainly uh, here to answer them. Um, and we'd be happy to schedule you for a consultation um, if desired. Thank you.